The instructions shown in this demo are the same or very similar across all of the ExpoNet Blazor products. To begin, select test type. For this test we are using EtherBert. Next, select test configurator. When open, in the left box which identifies the interface previously set up up and modify structure, you click on the plus sign in the left window to expand the window. You can then view the lasers and frequencies of the optical lanes as well as turn on or off, all, or each of the optical lanes present individually. Next, select the frequency tab at the bottom. In this screen you can view the total frequency in gigahertz of the interface, as well as the frequency of each of the Cowie lanes, or individual lasers, each of which provide a portion of the total bandwidth. Next, select the Network tab. In this screen you will notice the MAC address of the interface and you are able to select the frame format you wish to use. The IP version you will use can be selected as either IPv4 or IPv6. The platform IP address is populated as well as the subnet mask of the platform. You may also select the VLAN tag, if VLAN is to be used, and edit the type of VLAN. Next, select the interface. In the demo it is TAQSFP28. This provides information such as the insertion counter, ID, serial number etc. Next, select the pluggable. Here it is the QSFP28. Now you may view all of the documentation of the pluggable you are testing from. Next, select Timer. In this window you can set a duration of the EtherBert test as well as a start and end time which allows a delayed test, for example to begin and end later.